lives. Madam Deputy Speaker, poor people in our country have paid with their lives because the Prime Minister spent the last 18 months misleading this House and the country. Peter Stefanik from the CWU has over 27 million views on his online, and let me tell you some of them. He highlights that the Prime Minister said the economy has grown by 73 per cent. It's just not true. Reinstated nurses bursary, just not true. There wasn't an app working anywhere in the world, just wasn't true. Tories invested 30 4 billion in the NHS, not true. The Prime Minister said we have severed the link between infection and serious disease and death. Not only is this not true, Madam Deputy Speaker, but it is dangerous, and it's dangerous to line the pandemic. And I'm disappointed that the Prime Minister has not come to the House to correct the record and to correct the fact that he has lied to this House and the country over and over again. Order. order. I'm, I'm sure that the, um, the member will um, reflect on... Um, her words, she's saying, perhaps correct the record. Madam Deputy Speaker, what would you rather, a weakened leg or a severed leg? You know, at the end of the day, the Prime Minister has lied to this House time and time again. And it's funny that we get in trouble in this place for calling out the lie rather than the person lying. Order, order, order. Order. Can you re please... Please reflect on your words and withdraw your remarks. Madam Deputy Speaker, I've reflected on my words and somebody needs to tell the truth in this House that the Prime Minister has lied. Under the power given me by standing order number 43, I order the member to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of the day's sitting. I call Tom Randall. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. On perhaps a slightly lighter note, I hope that before the House adjourns today, we can celebrate the uh, colourful display that we can currently